I was on Marco Polo with my friend the other day and she was asking for eyeliner recommendations and I told her I really only have like a couple of go-tos. They do interchange, but for the most part, I always use some sort of cream shadow stick. For instance, the Laura Mercier Caviar Sticks. I've really been into this Tarte Quick Stick recently, which honestly is pretty random because I haven't really gravitated towards a Tarte product in quite some time and I don't really use the black liner side too often. However, this cream shadow stick I love on my waterline. It's so pretty, it glides on just like a caviar stick. But while we were on the phone, I took her on like an eyeliner tour and we were both just laughing. I was like, wow, I just said I don't really use eyeliners that often. And then look, these are eyeliners that I do rotate a lot that just live in my vanity. Then here's a bin of liquid liners, which I hardly ever use because I always go in with a shadow wing. And then here's a grand finale. This thing is just full of pencil liners. Why? I don't know. How there's still this many left after I did a massive declutter, there used to be two bins full of eyeliners and I still have this many left. I have an aunt that absolutely loves eyeliner. So I'm like, you know what? I should go through declutter. I personally love decluttering my makeup. I do it a lot off camera. I just find that it's very therapeutic. I like reorganizing and organizing things and swatching things and then finding new favorites or I guess finding old favorites that become revisited favorite. So for today, I was like, you know what? Why not? Let's film it. I know eyeliners don't sound that exciting, but I personally love seeing swatches and just like the sounds of things moving around, like the ASMR of organizing, I always love. Let's just go ahead and sit down and declutter eyeliners together. See if I can even grab all of these. These are just the eyeliners that have been living in the drawer that I haven't really used as much lately. <laughs> all right, here we go. Welcome to the wonderful world of eyeliners. So this is the bin that lives in my vanity. I do rotate a couple of these back and forth, but as you can see, it's typically like orangey, warm, chocolatey brown shades or blacks. This is liquid eyeliners, and then this is just the main bin of an abundant amount of eyeliners. So I think the easiest thing for me to do first is just going to go through and categorize everything by color. So I think we'll do liquid liners last and just work with these two. Even though I know pretty much everything in here is going to stay, let's color code them just for pure satisfaction. All right, so starting off with greens, I think I'm gonna do like green and teal shades together and then turquoise and blue sort of colors here. I mean, I told y'all from the beginning, I don't even really wear blue eyeliners, so why are there this many blue eyeliners already? Like, see, would you put this here or here? Uh-uh, uh-uh, whatever, we're gonna put it right here. Then we'll just do red and pinks together, including maroons, all those shades, purpley plum colors. I'm gonna put this there. Then we have some fun like copper shades, nudes, All right, so here are all the pencil eyeliners color coordinated. Here are the remaining products that were in this basket that I'm not classifying as eyeliners. These are just cream shadow sticks that I use as liners. This was a brow pencil that was in there for whatever reason. And then just liquid liners, one little like powder liner and two gel liners, everything together. It was either 136 or 137, which is so freaking stupid, but that's why we're doing this video. So clearly I really like brown and black eyeliners and nude. There's also a lot of green and purple. I used to love like deep plums like this just because I felt like they made my brown eyes really pop, but now we can go through and finally declutter a lot of these. So I'm just gonna go ahead and work my way down the somewhat rainbow. So starting off with reds and pinks. Unfortunately, I know a lot of these Marc Jacobs, I think they were called highliners, right? Yeah, highlighter matte gel eye crayons. A lot of these are dried out. I got rid of so many of them, but I still have this many left. Let's see, what is this called? Pink of Me. That one actually still works. You know what? I think I'm gonna save this for my friend Laura. She loves pinky, creamy white shades for her waterline. And then we have this really pretty burgundy shade. I've had these for so long. I mean, they're actually still really creamy, but I just never really reach for them anymore. So that's two right away that I know I can get rid of. I don't ever use this pink shade from Lancome. It's really pretty, but 
I just don't use those sort of colors. I really do like this one from Urban Decay. I know I kind of hate on the 24-7 Glide-Ons a lot, but this one in Wild Side, it's this gorgeous rose gold. Mine needs to be sharpened. That's a keep as well as the brand Idol. This is that K-Beauty brand. I love these eyeliners. They're so creamy. As you can see, there's little glitter particles in them. They glide right on. You have a really nice smudging window before it sets. And I do love NARS eyeliners. This one is in the shade Broadway. This one will be a keep. Ooh, I mean, those two are kind of similar, but they're different enough. It doesn't even look like I've tried this Revlon vinyl one. So that's one I can definitely get rid of. Got rid of four, kept three. Now moving on to orange shades. I love these sort of colors. In fact, this one right here, I think it's gingerbread, yeah. This has been in several favorites videos. These Too Faced eyeliners are amazing. These are truly budge proof, way more creamy than the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On ones. I love these. I'll probably be keeping every single one of these because I genuinely love the killer liners. I know a lot of people just assume that they're not able to be sharpened because they have this plastic look to them, but they're just like the ColourPop ones. They sharpen very easily. That's a keep as well as the brand Beauty People. This is another K-Beauty brand. I do like this because it's retractable. This is just a really pretty kind of golden shade. We will be keeping that as well as, are these the same? Oh my God, I have two of Urban Decay Lucky. That's ridiculous. It is pretty though. I actually like to use these as shadow bases. I'm gonna keep one, get rid of the other, and also get rid of this Marc Jacobs one. That color does look beautiful, but oh wow, that is actually really pretty. But I haven't used it, so I don't need to keep it. We do have two more from NARS. We have the shade Sunset Boulevard. This is just, ooh, that's really pretty. I mean, that's like a straight up yellow gold. She's a caper, folks. Then we have Rodeo Drive. Yeah, we need to keep that. However, I can get rid of this Lancome one. I've been wanting to save it just because I'm like, how cool, you know, just to keep a bright yellow eyeliner. But I've been saying that for over a year now and it hasn't been touched. So how cool, it's gonna leave. Next up we have greens. As I mentioned earlier, keeping all of the Too Faced killer liners just because I really like that formula. I think I'm going to get rid of both of these Marc Jacobs ones. This forest green one does look really nice, but oh no, this one just needs to go in the trash. See, it's just kind of like stiff and dry now, which is unfortunate. This one though, doesn't even look like it was ever used. And she's still real creamy. Okay, so this one can go into the pile for friends and family. This one though just needs to go in the trash. We have two more from Lancome. I feel like my aunt would actually really like some of these funky green shades. This is a Smashbox one in the shade Baller. <gasps> that is actually really pretty, kind of a peacock. That's a maybe. This is a go. Detail. That's pretty, but no. The Waterproof Idol line, I just really like this one. <gasps> Isn't that beautiful? This is the color number 10, gold on khaki. I actually do like this Maybelline one. This formula is nice, the Lasting Drama Matte. This is in the shade Jade Olive. I know I've used this in a tutorial before. It's just like the perfect army green color. We have Grafton Street. Ooh, that's good. And then this one is Night Porter. I love the Night Porter eyeshadow. Okay, we're gonna keep the two NARS and get rid of Urban Decay and then that Smashbox Baller because honestly, I thought the NARS one was a bit creamier and the colors are almost identical. For the blue section, honestly, I don't need anything in here, but I'm like, what if there's a day that I do wanna wear a blue eyeshadow, or not eyeshadow, eyeliner? This cobalt blue from NARS is really cool. It's called Ocean Drive. I'm between this one or the Smashbox one in Bouncer. Mm, it's NARS. The rest of these can all go. Yay, that was a good section. I do like a lot of these shades, but there's three of the Killer liners in here. Do I really need all three of them? Oh wait, Killer Chocolate, this is a brown. This is one of my favorite brown eyeliners, so that's an absolute keep. Then we have Killer Espresso, and then what are you? Killer Queen. I just really like the formula of these though. So I might be keeping both of those. I do love this Persona eyeliner in Plum, but sometimes I notice it kind of drags a bit. Like it doesn't smear out as nicely as like Urban Decay Alkaline. 
This one does smudge out beautifully and that on the waterline is so pretty. I think for purples, that might be the only one that I keep. Both of those were like deeper purple shades. So do I need one sort of electric purple? That's really pretty, but I have a caviar stick that looks very similar to that. Here's a Lancome one. That's really pretty. But if I'm gonna use a color like this, I will definitely use a caviar stick instead. So I'm actually gonna get rid of all of these purple ones. I only kept three. Okay, next up we have like nudes and champagnes. I love this category. This will be a little bit harder. Surprise, surprise. Killer Cashmere, we're keeping. This Ardency in one, I don't, do they still even make this? This is Smooth Ride, one of their supercharged eyeliners. Clearly I haven't used it in a while, but I love this like dirty bronzy gold. That one is definitely going to be kept as well as Rue Bonaparte. Isn't that what this is called? Yeah, from NARS. This is another amazing creamy nude. It is different than Killer Cashmere. I feel like it's slightly brighter, super creamy, love that one. Smashbox Bubbly is such a gorgeous like pearly champagne. I'm going to keep that. Also the Revlon Micro Eyeliners. I thought I was filming, I was not. These are super creamy. I love how thin the actual pencil is. I think I'm almost through with this one, so I do wanna go ahead and finish that. Everything else though, I oh, the Koki Champagne. I wonder how similar this is. I use this one a lot. I just haven't used it recently because I was being lazy and didn't want to sharpen it. I mean, it is different from bubbly. It's a little bit more on like the white side. I'm gonna keep that. And then I think everything else in here, minus this guy, this is another one of the Idol brand eyeliners. Gonna keep that. But then these six, seven, eight, eight, we can get rid of. Before I had an entire container full of black eyeliners. This is all that I have left in here. Three right off the bat that I know I'll be keeping. This is what I've been using almost every day on my tight line. It's just one of the Revlon Colorstay eyeliners. Love this. Also love the NARS eyeliners in, I think it's Via Vianetto, right? Yeah. These two right here. What is this shade though? Grand Via, what's the difference? I mean, it's still black and I like the formula of that. So I do know I wanna keep that. Um, the Makeup Forever Aqua XL is nice, but I actually prefer the NARS one. I do like the McQueen as I mentioned earlier, but let me see between these two because one is almost more of like a charcoal color. It looks like we have Espresso Latte. Oh, what the heck? That's a brown and I like it. I'll probably be keeping that. And then this is the black. doesn't really look like I've played with this one much. So these we're gonna go ahead and get rid of. I need to go through and see if I have another McQueen New York Brown. This might be the only one. It was in the wrong section. I swore I had, oh, here it is, French Latte. I am gonna keep both of these just because I really like the formula and the longevity of them. In the browns, we can get rid of these Marc Jacobs ones. I know I used to love, where are you? Um, wasn't it called Teddy something? No, Brownie. This used to be a go-to for me. I still really like it, but I prefer the Too Faced one. So we're gonna get rid of these. We're gonna keep Killer Caramel. We're also gonna keep both of these NARS. NARS just makes really great eyeliners. I love this Almay one. This is just their Almay All Day Intense Gel Eyeliners. These are so freaking creamy and they stay on the waterline and tight line so well. Definitely keeping that, keeping both of these waterproof idol ones. This is empty, why is this still in here? Steal a smudge stick and lionfish. This used to be a holy grail for me. That just needs to go in the trash. As I mentioned, I do like the Revlon Micro line and the color stay. So keeping those as well as this NARS one. Oh my gosh, I used to adore these Ardell eyeliners. This one is in Teddy. I didn't realize I had a backup of this. And then get rid of these. I mean, why do I have this many white eyeliners? It's white. Smashbox, more white. That feels creamier. Then we have NARS. Okay, I only need one of these. I think it's probably gonna be the NARS one. I have Ardell. Holy cow. That one though is almost like a liquid. Like it's so, so creamy. What the heck? I said I was only gonna allow myself one. Okay, this Ardell one is cool, but I do already have a white eyeshadow primer. So I'm gonna keep these two and get rid of these three. And then finally we have these like silvery taupey shades. We have one from NARS. This is the Strip. Ooh, this is like metallic goodness. We're keeping that. We have this one from ColourPop. This is Kicker. This is also pretty, but I just love the NARS formula. So getting rid of the ColourPop one. And then NARS, what are you called? Height. It was like a taupey purple. 
Oh, it looks like I, okay, whatever. We're just gonna put it in there. So after the first run through, there's 47 in my key pile. No, Dana, I need to do better than that. I don't like that number. It down to an odd 45. These are the other two I decided to get rid of. This one from Koki. I just prefer the McQueen and Smashbox more. So I can get rid of that. And then I have so many charcoal -y browns. While I love the formula of the McQueen New York ones, this shade was my least favorite out of the bunch. So got rid of two. And then here are the 45 pencil eyeliners that I'm keeping, most of which are brown, but that's okay, that's what makes me happy. In the discard pile, there were 60 pencils. Now moving on to liquid eyeliners. These are not that many, so I'm not really gonna bother going through and categorizing them, besides the gel liners. The only gel liners that I still have in my collection are Inglot 77 and then Sigma Liberally Toasted. I used this the other day and it still worked fine. It's old, but I mean, my eyes haven't had issues with it and it's still creamy, so I'm gonna keep it. Then I do have one cake liner. This is the Laura Mercier liner in black ebony. Love this stuff. And then everything else in here are liquid liners. Right off the bat, these came in the ColourPop holiday collection. One of them I couldn't even get open and then the two that I could, I just found were a bit watery. I just wouldn't use these. So three that are leaving my collection immediately. Oh, I love this eyeliner. I've mentioned so many times before that I suck at liquid liner. This is the Koki retractable liner. So you can keep it short like this, especially if you have a shaky hand or you can go through and extend it. Love this, love the felt tip on it. This Bobbi Brown one in carbon black, this is just old. This needs to go in the trash. I know the Sigma one's old, but this one has gotten to the point where it's like goopy and nasty. These Revlon So Fierce products are cool. I've kept these two shades, but I thought I would reach for them more and I just don't. They are the chrome inks. As you can see, it's like a chubbier applicator. They're cool, but like the ColourPop ones, they're a bit on the watery side. So I am gonna get rid of those. I do like the Elamasca eyeliner as well as this Profusion one. This is the Wing It Super Fine Liner. This eyeliner is under $4. It's so good. I'm still gonna finish mine up. These used to be my absolute favorite, but they're both actually dried out. These are from Joa, the black and the brown. I'm just gonna go ahead and put these in my empties because I did use these up most of the way. I mean, I would say 80% of the way before they dried out. The Nabla Cereal Liner. This is another good one. I really like Nabla. I'm gonna keep that. I'm, I go back and forth with this Too Faced Better Than Sex one. I just don't use liquid eyeliners that often anymore. So I don't really find the need to keep any of these. Like I have these four and I think that might be enough for me. Oh wait, with exception to this, the ColourPop Brown Eyeliner, I do like that one a lot. This one is Graceland, it's a black, I don't need it. The NARS Climax Eyeliner, I love NARS products, but this just wasn't special to me. I don't really like how chubby the tip is either. Get rid of that. The Jouer Kitten Liner is really good, but like I said, I just don't use liquid eyeliners that often. I know people love the Physician's Formula one. We have this one from Ciate. It's a pretty cool concept. The tip is supposed to be where you can just go in and stamp a wing and then like use this tip to flick it out even more. But I just prefer shadow wing. We have this one from Wander Beauty. One of my aunts loves liquid liners. So honestly, I'm happy for her to get these. And then I do have this one from Kaja, except for they have a left and right side to make it really easy and stamp. I do kind of want to play with this one more time. So I think I am going to keep that. So for liquid liners, we're just keeping these six here. And then I think that's everything, right? Yeah, yay, there's all the eyeliners. So here is the pile of all of them. I'm getting rid of. I'm keeping 54 eyeliners, that's including the handful of gel and liquid liners and getting rid of 83 eyeliners. That, my friends, is a win. So I'm personally happy with that outcome. Let me know if you guys wanna see another declutter soon. I know I need to redo lips again and like nail polishes and stuff. Maybe the other ones I'll kind of do like vlog style and just incorporate other footage in, but yeah, that's it for today. So thanks for hanging out. If you haven't already, I would love if you subscribed, if you've got some more time on your hands, you can always check out one of these videos here and I will see you in the next one. Bye.